What's up guys, Lou here, and I've got a quick update for you regarding this device, the Nexus 4, which I've been using and loving recently. Now, one of the major criticisms of this particular device is the fact that it doesn't feature LTE wireless connectivity. But certain individuals have figured out that you can actually enable LTE very easily on certain carriers. If you happen to be in Canada like I am, and you're on either TELUS, Bell, or Rogers, you can actually enable the hidden LTE radio that's inside of this device. And it's actually surprisingly simple to do. So we'll get started with TELUS, TELUS being the easiest one to jump into. All you need to do is go into your dialer here, and from there you wanna type in uh, star pound, let me just read it here, star pound four, six, three, six. I hope you guys can see that there. I'll probably put an annotation with the full code and let it stick there. One more pound, another star, one last pound, and another star. And that'll kick you right into the testing menu, the developer menu, whatever it is that you want to call it. Now, what you need to do from here is tap on phone information at the top, like I've just done. You see a bunch of information, a bunch of data that doesn't really matter to you. If you scroll down though, You'll see something here that says WCDMA Preferred, this little area right here. You want to click there, and another drop-down menu will now become available. And this is where things get interesting from an LTE perspective. You want to scroll down until you find LTE slash GSM Auto. That's what it says right here, and then you want to select that. Now, my phone is not on one of those major carriers that I mentioned earlier in this video. It's not on TELUS, it's not on Bell, it's not on Rogers. So in this case, LTE is not going to start working, but if you happen to be on one of those three carriers, LTE would start working if you went through the same steps. Um, once again, this is assuming you've got an LTE provisioned SIM card. If you don't have uh, a, a phone that supports LTE currently, then your SIM card is likely not provisioned for LTE, meaning you won't have success doing this. But if you've got LTE on a different device and the SIM card is LTE capable, and you stick it inside of the Nexus 4, and you're on TELUS, that's literally all you need to do. Now, if you're on Rogers or Fido, which uses the Rogers network, or Bell, um, I believe you can overcome certain issues by adding a specific APN. And that's actually pretty easy to do as well. I'll show you real quick how to do that. Um, you can go into your settings. Let me just quickly go into the settings here. You can go into your settings and then from there you wanna go to more. Where is more? Right there, of course. Guys, I'm trying to look at the computer as well as the monitor on the camera. Then from there you want to go into mobile. Mobile networks. Is that what they want? Mobile networks. Um, and then lastly, we wanna go into access point names. For Rogers only, you can add the APN, lteinternet.apn. So we can do it down here. We can add a new APN, and from here we can put in that criteria, lteinternet.apn. Once again, I'll put an annotation so you guys can see that clearly. So if you're on Rogers, that's all you need to do. The same should be true for Fido, of course, running on the same network as Rogers is. So anyways, a very interesting piece of information that really surprised me and I wanted to share it with you guys. So there is a little bit of hidden LT functionality in the Nexus 4. Some people have mentioned that since it's not an amplified signal or something along those lines, you're not gonna get full on LT performance. You're obviously going to see an improvement though over the regular performance. And there are a couple of drawbacks right now like the fact that you've got to re-enable it every time you boot up the system, that's obviously no fun to do. I'm sure somebody in the XDA forums is gonna figure that out, how to you know boot up your system with a custom ROM so it automatically enables LTE. Um, the other thing worth talking about, this is getting a little bit long-winded now, is the fact that T-Mobile uses similar technology to the Canadian carriers for their LTE coverage. So if you're, if you're to use this device on T-Mobile in the future, once they've got full uh, LTE rollout, then chances are you're also gonna get LTE, LTE coverage as well on T-Mobile in the US. At least it's a possibility at this point. So anyway guys, that's been a quick little update video about the Nexus 4 and the fact that people are, have been able to get LTE running on the device on certain Canadian carriers, which is a good sign for other people elsewhere in the world. Bell, TELUS, and Rogers. TELUS being the easiest one to set up. Hopefully this video has been helpful. 
If you guys enjoyed my content, please remember to leave a like and favorite down below as it does help out a bunch. And I've got a lot more planned. Just wanted to share that quick little update with you guys. All right, thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Later.